today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Billings from Oxico Resources. How are you today? I'm very good, Tracy. How are you doing? I'll tell you, your company is getting a lot of buzz over at Investor Intel land. I'm getting notes and emails and comments online. So let's just start at the top with your most recent announcement about your second trade of rare earth ore from the DRC. Can you give us an update? Uh, yes, uh, so Oxico has a relationship with a sister company of ours. Uh, both my uh, colleague Pierre Gauthier and I are uh, directors and shareholders of that company. And that company has uh, owns properties in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Over the last couple of years, we've uh, done a lot of work uh, sampling and uh, so forth on these properties and have discovered a, a property in the northern part of the DRC that's extremely rich in rare, earth con in rare earths. Um, we're getting up to 54 to 60% total rare earth content just in the ore. These are not concentrates. This is directly in the, uh, in the ore in the ground. And uh, working with uh, local parties in the DRC, we're able to export that. So Oxico is the exclusive sales agent for uh, Central American Nickel and uh, receives 15% sales commission on any amount sold uh, from the DRC. So as you uh, indicated, Tracy, we've uh, completed two trades over the last couple of months for about 300 uh, metric tons of rare earth concentrates and are looking to continue that. Uh, we're looking to do another trade very shortly for another 250 to 300 metric tons. And our goal is to ramp that up from, to 500 to 1,000, eventually 1,000 metric tons per month from the DRC. So I think this is a significant development for, uh, for Oxico uh, because I think we can safely say uh, with certainty that we're one of the very few companies that is involved in actually selling rare earth concentrates worldwide. It's a very small, unique market, very profitable one. Uh, it's a niche market, but uh, we've become a player in it. So it's very exciting for us. And of course, this is indeed very unusual and exciting, significant news for those of us that have been following this sector for a great deal of time. So let me just confirm again, you are actually selling rare concentrate at this time, is that correct for Oxico? Yes. So uh, the concentrates come from the DRC, uh, from our sister company, Central American Nickel, and Oxico arranges the sales through our network and Oxico receives a sales commission on that. So yes, Oxico is selling rare earth concentrates uh, today and will continue to do so. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it's my understanding as well that you are sourcing a great deal of uh, monazite from numerous sources. Is that correct? Yes, so uh, in the DRC, the, the rare earth uh, elements are in the monazite sands, which uh, I think is important to note because some competitors uh, in this space have hard rock, which you have to break that down and that requires a lot of uh, energy and capex and so on. Our philosophy as Oxico is that we want to be a, a major player in these strategic and critical minerals. And as such, we've, uh, we've secured some, some real estate in uh, three jurisdictions. The logic being that we don't want to be reliant upon any one jurisdiction in case something happens. Uh, uh, I think it's good business sense to have that. At the same time, these three properties, all of them represent uh, what we think are significant amounts of these critical minerals. So over the last little while, we've secured uh, an interest in Colombia in the Eastern uh, Department of Bichada. So Oxico owns the uh, monastic property, we call it. And uh, that, that again, uh, we've done a lot of work over the last uh, couple of years and it's uh, high amounts of rare earth concentrates up to 60%. In Brazil, uh, we announced recently that we've uh, negotiated a joint venture with a local cooperative and we have access to 30 million, three zero, 30 million tons of tin tailings. Uh, these were tailings produced over the last uh, 60 years and uh, uh, a report was done in 2015 by the Brazilian Geological Survey and DIRA, the German uh, Mining Ministry, and essentially provides us with a, a feasibility study, a business plan uh, for the extraction of uh, a number of elements, not just uh, rare earths, but uh, tin, uh, tantalum, niobium. These are all critical elements. Uh, and that, again, is tailings. It's monazite sands, again, easier to process. And again, as we indicated at the beginning of this conversation, we have access to uh, uh, product in the DRC. So these are all uh, on surface, in sands, easily, easy, relatively easy to extract. And uh, we've secured all of those uh, properties uh, directly through Oxico or indirectly with our sister company. So for everybody who may be new to Oxico, 
you're sourcing monazite from the DRC, from Colombia, and of course, Brazil. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. But for, we're also, because we've been following, and I was just talking to Byron King about you recently, and he was telling me a little bit more about your technology. You also have a very competitive technology. Yes, exactly. And I think um, uh, there, there's two key assets of the company. One of them is, is the real estate, which we just talked about in the three jurisdictions. And the other one is the, the processing technology. Um, if we look at uh, the Brazilian operations, for example, uh, as I said, there's a, a study done by uh, uh, two governments in Germany and Brazil, and they looked at producing a, a monazite concentrate with, these, uh, with a number of rare earth elements. And where they came up against a wall was uh, how to extract thorium. And thorium, of course, as you know, is a, is a radioactive element, and uh, it's generally seen as a prohibiting transport and uh, it, it impedes its, it, the ability of a company to sell it if it is in significant quantities. So we've developed over the last five years a technology called ultrasound extraction, uh, which is based on the same principle as if uh, you go to the doctor and you have a kidney stone, the doctor will pulverize the stone with high vibrations and it'll break up into smaller parts and pass your system. The same principle here applies. Uh, we break up the ore into smaller fragments very quickly using this technology, which is all done at atmospheric uh, temperature and pressure. And we're able to uh, uh, separate the ore into its component parts in a much quicker, uh, cost-effective and environmentally friendly way. And we've done a, a number of tests on, uh, on these ores uh, concerning the extraction of thorium. And uh, we're getting thorium into solution, extracting it from the, the other elements, and we're able to produce uh, concentrates that do not have the thorium. So that's a significant development because both in Colombia and in Brazil, there are traces of thorium which could uh, impede the development of those projects. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case with us, given our testing and the technology we have. Out of the DRC, uh, as I've indicated, we've started to cash flow from that, uh, primarily because there's no thorium in that, uh, that area. So it's, uh, it's different in that respect. But I think um, the technology is, is just as important as the properties. And I think that's a defining um, uh, feature of the company. Uh, if you look at some of the competitors in this space, uh, they have interesting deposits with rare earth elements, uh, significant traces of uh, a basket of elements, but none of them has processing technology. And we hope that uh, that will be one of the key defining factors of Oxico going forward. Well, I think perhaps, according to Jack Lipton, who talks about the desert out there for capital talent in the critical minerals uh, sector, uh, I would encourage everybody out there to go take a look at your website uh, for the level of uh, you know talent, of course, that you've got in your management and team and all the offtake agreements that you seem to be announcing every other week. So, Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you will uh, uh, join us uh, again here in the next couple of weeks. And, and I'd love it if you go through these offtake agreements with myself or Jack Lifton. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, stay tuned. There's always going to be news from our company. So uh, we'll keep you and the investing public informed. Thank you for your time.